Hi there you my beading friends I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful summer daisy chain necklace. It's easy to make it's a beginner's level tutorial and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of it you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. I will appreciate it if you ask me anything in the comments and if you comment in general share and like because you help me so much only with this action. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work on my Facebook or Instagram pages that are also posted down there under this video. So um, what I wanted to tell you is here I'm using three sizes of beads but you could definitely use two sizes of beads and you could use only three colors instead of the so many colors that I'm using here. I will tell you in the list of materials exactly what I use but you could make the daisies and only one color in between them if you don't have so much colors let this not stop you from making this necklace. Now I have uh, timestamps on my video so you could definitely skip this intro and start with the list of the materials and down there you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three sizes of seed beads. Here I'm using 6-0 size in white and red color. I use 8-0 size in white, yellow, red, orange and green color. And I also use the 11-0 size which is white, orange, three colors of green, blue and yellow. I just want to tell you that like I mentioned in the beginning that you could do this with only three colors white, yellow and one contrasting color of seed beads in between them. But now because I want to make it more like summer and nice and beautiful I will use more and more colors. Okay so now I'm going to take an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And now I will start my necklace and what I want to take are six of these beautiful beads. Okay, now I have six of them on my needle. You see six. And I'm taking my earring finding and I'm going through it. And I'm sliding it down and I will push my needle here in my mat. And now guys, what I'm going to do here is a knot and how I do this, I make a loop and I go with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just like this, okay? Now what I want to do is reinforce this joint here one more time. Okay guys, now I have this and you could do this one more time if you want. And now I'm going to start adding colorful beads here. Okay, so first I'm going to take two dark green beads. Then I'm going to take one orange ato. Then I'm going to take two light orange beads. Then I'm going to take a yellow ato. And then I'm going to take a red ato. And then I'm going to take a middle green. Okay, now I took eight and I took so many different colors and it's up to you what colors you pick. Uh, this is just what I did. You could add them the way you like them. I'm doing this for my niece and she says she wants different colors, mixed colors and mixed sizes. Okay, so I'm doing it like this and now I want to take six of these beautiful atos. okay? I will pick up those beautiful white atos, 
and I will take six of them because this is how I'm doing my daisy and I'm going to slide those down. Now what I do is that I go back in circle through all of those beads making sure I'm close to this green bead. I mean no excessive thread showing between this green and the whites. Okay, just like this, as close as possible to my work. Okay, now I'm like this, turning my work like this. You see, my beads come from this direction, like this, through my work. Okay, and now guys, what I want to do is at the center of this flower and I'm taking one yellow bead, just like this, and as I'm exiting through this bead, I'm going through the opposite one and in the same direction uh, as my thread is pointing to, so in this direction. And how I find the opposite, I'm counting, this one is where I exit and I count one, two, and I'm going through the third one. And this is my opposite okay so now I have this and now guys what I want to do is exit in this direction and through this bit and in order to do this I'm going through the next two bits in this direction and what I want to do now is go through this yellow here through the center of this yellow one more time in this way I'm reinforcing it and making it stay exactly in the center where its place is. Okay, and now I exit out of it and I want to exit through these beads and through this one here. You see, this is how I'm attaching my daisies. I want two of the beads to be in the inner side of my necklace and four in the outer side. In this way I will form this band and make them stay in one direction. Okay, then it comes my next row which will also consist of eight beads. You could do less or more, whatever you like. Okay, and now I take two middle green beads and then I take one yellow and then I take one of the bigger size. If you don't have them, you could skip them definitely. Then I take two light greens. And uh, then I take a dark green ato. And then I take one 11 orange. Okay, this is what I take. You could definitely take something else and slide those down and you could take more or less beads it depends what you want to achieve more or less colors it is just what i do and now guys i'm going to take six six white beads okay you see i need to focus okay i'm sliding those down and what i want to do is go like this through them okay like this then I want to reinforce a little bit okay and now you see uh, how my necklace will form okay like this now uh, you see these beads are popping up from this side so this is the front of my necklace and I want to add uh, this bead in the center not when my flower is turned like this but when it's turned like this you see uh, these beads are coming from this side through this one and not flip like this and coming from the top side. 
they are coming here and through the bottom size and this is when I take one bead and I'm exiting out of this one and I'm finding here the opposite like this and going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to and pull 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 tight and now I will go through the next two beads just like this you see how it looks then uh, you know what I do I go again through this bead to reinforce it and make it stay in the center not move around and then I'm going here through the next two and as I mentioned in the beginning I also want to go here through the following white because I want when I form my necklace four to be from the bottom side of the necklace and two to be from the top in order to make this uh, shape this necklace shape okay now guys I will experiment and I will add 12 beads here instead of eight okay and I will start with one blue you see one blue two small orange beads 11 oz then I'm going to take one of these bigger six o's then a red of the eight o's okay like this then a yellow of the eight o's then light green and then I'm going to take a middle green and then I'm going to take purely white bead then an orange of the atos and then a middle green and a dark green okay this is just what I take here I have 12 beads before that I had 8 beads now I have 12 I think I will continue with the 12 because I want bigger spaces between my daisies okay this is how I prefer to be and I'm going to show you how I'm making my daisy one more time okay I'm sliding those down like this and I'm going around in circle through all of those beads like this then again like this then if you remember I want to add the center of my daisy I'm turned in this direction this is coming from above through those beads and I'm going here through this white and I'm taking one of these beautiful yellows and I'm going through this bead which is the opposite one to the third one here okay and I pull it and when I pull it I'm in the center of my work then I go here through those beads to be next to the hole of my middle bead you see here is the hole then I'm going through the hole just to reinforce it and also to change directions two birds with one stole, stone okay now I'm going here in this direction and then I'm going here and if I show you one more time I think you will get the idea and you will be able to make it by yourself okay so here I will take two orange beads one middle green bead one white bead and yellow and red of the atos 
and then light green middle green middle green and then i'm going to take a white and then orange blue and dark green orange blue and dark green okay now i have 12 beads i'm going to slide those down next to this daisy and i will show you the daisy process one more time okay i want to pick up six okay six slide those down then i will go back here like this then through the following two like this and then i'm going to flip like this and i will go through this one and i will add the center again it pops up from this side where my beads come like this okay now i take one and i go through the opposite okay then what i do is like like i did before go through the next two beads to be closer to the center of your daisy then go through it and then go back like this and go back like this and now guys uh, this line that i wanted is formed uh, your necklace will look like this when you put it you see uh, they are the flowers are turned into one direction because from the bottom I go through four and there are two here at the inner side of my necklace okay and I will continue this if your thread is a small amount you could uh, make a knot cut it and then add a new one by making a knot holding your tail tail thread with your thumb and after that cutting the excess thread and continuing okay so now i will do this and i'll be back when i have the desired length okay guys and now you see what i have my daisy chain is forming okay and i'm here and here i put the same sequence like in the beginning and i put eight beads here at the end and now what i want to do is add two yellow beads one bigger yellow and two smaller yellows i will slide all of those down okay like this and then i will go back through the red through the green ones and back through all of those beads Okay, now I have this and I'm going to reinforce this several times. I will show you how I'm doing it once. okay and you could do this one more time i mean go again like this but now i'm not showing this i will show you how i make my knot and cut my thread at the end okay i'm making here a loop i'm going once then i'm going second time through this loop i've made and i pull 
and then I go through the following and I could repeat this knot one more time if I want to and you could repeat it even more and more just to be sure it's all nice and tight and if you want guys you could go back through all of the necklace and reinforce this neckline by going like this uh, this is just something that you could do it's not obligatory okay now I'm cutting my thread I'm not reinforcing anymore not to bore you okay then I open up this jump ring and I'm going to put it here like this and I'm going to close it in the same direction as I opened it and now guys I could close my necklace and it's ready okay guys and now my colorful daisy chain necklace is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I have earrings matching this necklace and I'll show you them plus a ring in my next videos my next upcoming videos that's why it's a good idea to hit the bell and not to miss anything down there in description you will also find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me